Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we went through uh, the testing grounds of the Foo Syndicate, who basically outed us as vampires after we uh, raided a uh, Sang, or no, a Tong uh, club, which was in a warehouse with only like 10 people in there. Great, uh, great club. Uh, but as I said, we bested the, the testing grounds, uh, got to the head of the Foo Syndicate, and um, basically they kind of confirmed, uh, once we rescued uh, Barabbas, the Nosferatu, who was being held captive there, uh, Gary called us and confirmed that uh, he gave the Uncarn sarcophagus to the Giovanni. And we also uh, did a side quest for a Mitnick, uh, I think the, the final one is setting up a network hub in the distant, different districts of uh, California. So I believe that's done. Uh, I think we just have to go back to our uh, our lair in downtown to maybe answer an email or something, but we'll get to it at some point. Right now, I'm actually really interested in keeping up with the Giovannis. Um, so we only have three experience points, so I can't really do anything there. Okay. Let's do it. Hello? Need a ride. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the Giovanni Stronghold, please. I'm assuming you know where it is. Wow. Well, hello. Uh, Hello to you, too. You're either uh, not all there or you're drunk. Yes, what is it? Is this, this is the Giovanni Mansion? It is. Are you family? Yes, I am. Then perhaps I'll see you inside. Didn't forget your invitation, did you? Yes, I did. Well, I'm sure they'll let you inside if you just explain your situation to the man at the front door. I'm sure. I'll do that. I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Victor. Victor Rossellini. Maybe I'll see inside, Victor. And your lovely... For uh. all they know, we are the happiest couple in the place. Just keep it under two glasses of wine. Uh. For all they know, we are the happiest couple in the place. Just keep it under two glasses of wine. For all uh. they know, we are the happiest couple in the place. Just keep it under two glasses of wine. For all they know, we are the happiest okay, couple are in the you... place. Just keep it under two glasses of wine. Do you think you can do that, Maria? Not a fantastic start, is it? Yeah, what is it? This is Giovanni Mansion. Giovanni? Oh, yeah, here's the place. I haven't met you before. Are you a family member of member family? Yes, I am. Is that right? Hell of a family to be born into or married into or both. You have an invitation with you? No, I don't. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll let you in. Just tell them and they just tell them you just tell them you lost it. <laughs> I lose things all the time. No shit. I'll do that. I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Maria, Maria Rosalini. Maybe I'll see you inside. So, interesting. Interesting family. Interesting couple. Or are they brother sister? Well, hello, goth girl. I cannot talk to you. You are clearly a vampire. Um, you got, you got a little... Just, just a... Okay. You look fantastic. Hello, sir. Oh, you are. I mean, you know Edward Cullen, but you're you're a you're the crow guy. I forgot. I completely forgot. He's the crow. You're uh, what was his name? Edric Draven? Is that what his name was? I forget. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. What the fuck did you just call me? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Uh, I want to talk to you. Oh, I should... 
No. Very hospitable, these Giovanni. <sighs> you have invitation. Sure, it's right. I thought it was right here. Oh, no, I must have lost it. Damn. No invitation. Can't go in. Apologies. Name is Victor Rosalini. I should be on the guest list. Hmm, I think you... Okay, go in. And have a wonderful time. Very understanding of you. Thank you. Your, your servant and all that. So far, so good. Hey, I got a worded for lying. Did I open up in the cocaine room? Hello. You look like um, Hammerhead from Spider-Man with your uh, elongated head and flat. You look great. Oh, this place is a maze. Who's playing the piano? Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. What are you talking about? If you don't even know about the contest, then you really don't have to worry about winning it. I'm Victor. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. So what exactly did you mean when you called this a contest? They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. Mm. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. I kind of do. I'm very interested. Tell me more about the real power in the family. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family. Except he hasn't aged a day. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that about the Giovanni. Where, like, they actually have, like, an extended family of humans. And, uh, every... I don't know if it's a year or five years, decade, whatever. They select someone to join their ranks, so it were. That's really interesting. A lot of incest and nepotism, obviously, going on. Um, errors in judgment, for example. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Even the best of us make mistakes. It's obviously set you on this path. I just met you. I like you. But I can't tell anyone. It's too personal. Sometimes you do things you regret. And if someone here found out, they'd use it to destroy my chances at the family ever letting me into their inner circle. You're not the only one with regrets, Mira. You couldn't possibly understand. I'm under investigation for the FBI for embezzlement. It could ruin me. I did something because it made me feel alive. If you've never tasted it, you wouldn't understand. But a few months ago, I shared a hit with somebody I thought was clean. I tested positive last week. So you were a drug addict and now you've got... Shh. You couldn't possibly understand. But that's why I'm here tonight. I won't have to worry about this disease if the family accepts me into the inner circle. I won't have to worry about a thing ever. I'm on a lot of politicians' Christmas card lists, and this family knows I've swung a lot of votes for it, but... There are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money on tech investments a few years back. With them out of the running, they'd choose me. So you want to make your relatives look bad. I'll spare no expense for a lock. 
I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. I'll think about it. Okay, so we're going to be caught in the middle of a power play between three different people. Sounds like fun. I am talking here. Oh, you weren't, actually, but nice try. Okay, chill, bro. It's okay, it's just me. So, know where the sarcophagus is? Fantastic party, huh? What? Oh, sure. Nice place they have here. You know Uncle Bruno. See any good movies lately? I'm sorry, I've got a lot on my mind lately. Uh, excuse me. I, I was wondering how long it would go for. Alright. What's the matter? Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? Uh, honestly. Yeah. Really. They're pitting us against our own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power click. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. You mean if you found dirt on the others, you weren't on the others, you wouldn't use it? The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I will. And I know they'd probably do the same. So if I were to hear some gossip about other people, you'd be interested? Yeah, I guess I would. That's not all that's troubling you, is it? You can trust me. I don't even know who you are. I'm Chris Giovanni, by the way. Uh, I'm Victor Rossellini. Call me paranoid, but how do I know I can trust you? You seem decent. I've got a secret I've been afraid to tell people as well. You go first. If it's anything like mine, I'll tell you what's bothering me. I realize I'm an atheist. I renounce my Catholicism. Really? In this family, that's... That kind of thing can get you excommunicated if you're not careful. Well, all right. You want to know what's on my mind? I'll tell you. I found out a few months ago. My mother had an affair before I was born. Turns out my father isn't a Giovanni at all. My real father is this writer named Michael Avalon. If anyone found out, well, I might never rise up in this family. Interesting. We call that the, um, the, the Joffrey Paradox. Okay, at ease, boys, at ease. Hello, sir. Hey there, Adam Dunser. I don't think we've met. You are? Victor. Victor, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Import-exporter. Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, a lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Then why don't you invest in it? Well, I know somebody at the company, and that's what they call insider trading. Yeah. I could lose my job for that. All right, tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. Tripled in five years, that's it? You have much experience in this? How much did your last investments return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rocket back any week now. You haven't been very successful lately, have you? Most people here, they've got cash they don't know what to do with. And if one of us falls on hard times, don't you think, as family, they're obligated to help him out? Besides, I get the kiss tonight. Everyone will be investing with me. In fact, 
But if I can ensure my place at the grown-ups table by, say, drawing some attention away from my financial shortcomings, I'd be guaranteed the kiss. Know any dirt about the others I could use? I can't pay you, but I got this watch and this ring. A watch and a ring, eh? Tempting. They'll probably fetch me a couple hundred bucks. Very, very tempting. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay, looks like we found our three players. Um. Oh. Talking to twins, eh? Nice, man. Very nice. Hi. Hi. I don't think we've met before. Victor Rossellini. And you are? Nadia Milliner. It's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Are you from the Chicago Rossellinis? Yeah, that's right. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I will. So what do you do? I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. For example? I, um, I really can't say much about that. Oh, come on, you could tell me. We're all family, aren't we? Oh, forget about it, really. Uh, it's nothing. You know you want to tell me. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Okay, go ahead. I should have given the second option. Uh, something about the dead. Oh, easy. Come on. Uh, I don't know what I grabbed. Okay. Come on. I'm coming. Oh my god. Come on. I'm coming. Maybe I should have looked around more upstairs first. Oh, lordy Lou. Whoa, combat. You know what they do in this room? Uh, looks like an embalming room in a funeral parlor. Mm-hmm. Know what they do with the corpses? Please don't say sex. I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. I'm coming. usually attack just don't provoke them I mean it seems like they're actually coming for me Are they going to attack her So what are we doing? Guess I have to kill him. All right, let me let me save here. What's happening? You coming to get us? Gosh, we've got to get out of here. Okay, they're 
It's an infinite respawn. Is it? I mean, I can't just leave her here, can I? I'm still gonna see if there's anything. There is something, something there. What is that? Solo Sept. Oh. So this goes down further. Maybe I should have, uh, checked more upstairs. What is going on? Okay, before we continue, what the fuck did I pick up? Was it... The, no, it's a blood star. It's called the solo... Oh, it's right here. A uh, tidal chorus of whispers wash across your thoughts. They seem to be offering guidance, but their message eludes your conscious mind. Their motivations are unknown, but you find yourself increasingly willing to submit to their guidance. As long as you possess Solocept, you will gain an extra point of experience every time you're awarded three or more experience. Solocept may or may not have other effects. I mean, I do like the extra experience, but... Oh, okay. I'm gonna jump out of here. Can I climb? I cannot. That's okay. What the fuck is this area? I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. Sarcophagus room. Your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now or face the consequences of your actions. Uh, let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Uh, what alliance? What are you talking about? 
We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Temple Dragon Refugees. Um, I got my mission. I will stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Sorry, but you won't get it. Hey, hey, me. Oh. 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 And I fell down. Oh, what are you doing? Ow. Well, brother's dead. Oh no, what we do? Easy peas. Easy peas. We left the Giovanni thing already? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we go forward, I... I, I didn't finish any everything in the Giovanni thing. Um, I, I'm gonna go back. I'm really sorry, guys. <sighs> Fuck, I should have, like, saved after I did everything. I'll, I'm going to go back. I want to continue. Like, I want to find everything in the Giovanni match. Like, I want to talk to everyone. I still got to find that fetish. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to talk to everyone that I talked to, except for that girl that leads to the basement. Um, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so I've talked to everyone again. Let's go exploring. So I'm still gonna find a fetish for uh, what was her name? Pinhu? Something like that. Oh my god. Yeah, please don't tell me like the fetish is behind that fucking door. My lock picking is eight. Security needs to be so I need twelve or twelve. I need twelve, which I'm not getting. Sure, a lot of bedrooms in here. God, they're all ten. Someone doing cocaine. One of the, what's the point of this room? And this room. And this room. Like, I guess they just forgot to decorate the rest of their rooms. up so. 
Are you kidding me? Ooh, nice pool. Ooh, there's people talking in there. Oh, whoops. You didn't see nothing. Is there a way to listen in on it? Oh my god. What's going on with the pool? It's so weird. Guessing there's a back entrance. Hi. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Well, what if I did this? Sorry, you can't come in here right now. I uh. Ah. Dove la sala, Giorgi? didn't mean to do that. Place a goddamn maze, eh? Okay, let's save and try again. Bad monkey, no banana. So I need a dodge ability of four. Okay. Well, I was really hoping that would be a lockpicking one. Hmm. How do I get to listen in? These have no doors, or handles rather, so I can't go in them. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to choose somebody, and then they'll tell me. Uh, or, sorry, they'll tell me. I'll choose somebody, I'll have to tell them um, see their secret about everyone else, and then the people will come out, and then there'll be a whole conversation. I'm guessing, I don't know. Um, I, I don't really know what to pick. I'm not going to pick this guy. I think of either Mira or Christian. Christian's an actual Giovanni. And she is, I don't know, part of the family. I feel like she's done the most, though. Yeah, I think that I'm going to pick Mira. What do you know about the sarcophagus? Let's ask that first. The sarcophagus? 
I thought they closed that place down after they found that missing cheerleader doped up in the back. That was years ago, though, when I was in high school. Uh, forget it. Oh, hello again. Okay, I might have heard something about your family you might like to know. Yes? You'd be happy to know that Adam is completely broke. Adam broke? A few years ago, they did an article on him in the business section. <laughs> Money's practically more important than God to this family. I'll make sure Uncle Bruno somehow overhears this. Take this. It's more than Adam's worth. My, oh, thanks. You'll like this too. Chris isn't really a Giovanni. His mother had an affair. And Cecilia had an affair? If Chris isn't really a Giovanni, it won't sit well at all with Bruno. So sorry, cousin. Here, these bills represent Chris's entire future. Spend them wisely. For your assistance, you can be certain that when I have my way, I'll bring you into the fold. If you wish. All I have to do is set the rumor mill in motion, and I'm as good as in. Excuse me. Okay. I just gained eight points. If only I had four more. Is there absolutely nothing I could do? Okay. I'm gonna do something against my better judgment. I'm going to cheat to get those four points. I really don't want to because so far um, I haven't given into temptation, and I don't. I don't really like to cheat. But there's too many locked doors behind, like ten locked. Like, come on, ten. If it's areas that I'm, I'm not supposed to like get into, like fine. But like, there's most likely a fetish behind one of these doors. Like the fetish that I need, and like, how the fuck am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to need ten lock picking? You know what I mean? Who is doing whatever? Like, it's really pissing me off. Like, 10 lockpick. It's a fucking bathroom for all I know. Like, really? <sighs> if there was any other way to, like, get, like, like, do another side quest to get, like, the points I need, I would totally do it. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay. So, I'm just going to save. And I'm only going to get the, exp uh, like the XP that I need. So, I have 8. I need 12. To get, like, lockpicking 9. And then I can blood buff. So. What is it? Gifts. XP four. Oh, okay. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll blood buff. So this is where they are. What the fuck? Why are they lifting their skirts? Like, what the fuck? Ew, man. Okay, whatever.
just thought I'd go for a swim, you know? Is there a way to, like, listen in on this conversation? Oh my god. Can you... What the... Okay, I don't know why going through those waters is so hard. Is there anything behind here? Sorry, you can't come in here right now. But I promise you. Okay. That was, again, my bad. What a fucking mess of an episode. Oh, well then. So we know about this. See if there's something else. For your assistance, you could be certain that when I have my way. Where was there the other room? Was it here? Oh, right. Oh. So the fetish is not here. I, I said that weird. The fetish is not here. So I cheated for nothing. I guess cheaters really don't win. So you can actually hear what Bruno's talking about and read while you're like outside. Several years since I saw some of you. 
And then he just, uh, what's it called? Starts again. Okay. Well, I've looked all around. I cannot find the book up here, which means it's probably downstairs somewhere I must have missed. And... Being the kind of person that I am, I'm going to load back to before I cheated. Yeah. So, yeah, block picking is eight now. Um... Yeah, like if it ends up I don't need lock picking ten, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. So there's nothing else really. Um, oh, I don't think. Did I talk to the rest of these guys? Did I talk to her to finish off the quest. Oh, hello again. Okay, let me do that now. Yes. Okay. Is this it? Giovanni book? For Pisha. Oh, I was there the whole fucking time. God damn it. Okay, yeah, what does this do? Oh, it brings it down for the corpses to feed on, right. Okay. At least this way we don't put that other girl in danger. Okay, no point killing all these guys. I will pick up this item here. Maybe I need to kill enough of them for that to open. No! Come on, get off! guys actually do hurt. Uh, okay. So, uh, I'm just gonna cut back to after we get the sarcophagus. Okay, so... We have returned... Oh, Beckett's here. We have returned the sarcophagus over... Sorry, we have... <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit late. Um, we got the sarcophagus, and 
uh, we didn't return it to the prince. We brought it to the prince because he's never had it before. And sadly, we're going to have to wait until the next episode to see what happens. As this episode is already running a bit too long. And I apologize for that. But I really wanted to clear out the Giovanni Mansion because I know we're not going to go back to it. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait until next time to see what's in the sarcophagus. If we can even open it, we might not be able to open it. That's the other thing that we hadn't considered. But as I said, we'll have to wait till next time to find out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.